Hey there and welcome to another radio related video on the ICOM channel and this is another video in the basic operations of the ICOM ICR8500 receiver. So in this video we will talk about the uh, attenuation that you can actually add to the signals. Um, this receiver contains a 10, a 20 and a combined 30 dB attenuation. Now attenuation is not often used. Uh, it will be used on uh, some occasions. This receiver is pretty much um, I would say immune to overloading and uh, even here in Montreal where, all, where all, almost all of my radios are actually overload at one point. Um, actually this radio is really amazing and I've uh, not seen any overload of some sort uh, on any band actually uh, be it HF or VHF or UHF it's really an amazing radio for that so uh, this is probably what makes this ICOM ICR8500 such a great radio very 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 good at coping with strong signals so um, that's what I love about this radio actually but you might have something that's really strong uh, that probably will get distorted if it's way too strong an HF signal that's really getting in too well or maybe uh, you're on medium wave and you live real close to an AM station I do uh, actually live very close to a medium wave AM station here so when the signals too strong it actually tends to be uh, distorted Maybe you live close to some kind of cell or a pageant or communications antenna of a company and that even though this radio is great and you get some overloading. Um, I also have a little use of the uh, attenuation. If for example I go to 20 meters, you can see here that my noise level is at S5. Basically anything below that is pretty much uh, in the noise and I won't hear it. And what I like to do sometimes is actually lower the sensitivity of the radio to put the noise floor basically more at the zero mark of my uh, meter. So for example in here 20 meters I'll actually use a 10 dB attenuation which will put it at zero but doesn't prevent me from listening to any signals. Nothing. So you see here there's some signal. So the difference is if I turn it off or on, it makes a few S meter difference, but actually at least I lower my noise floor and make it a little less noisy. That's one of the ways I actually use the attenuation. Now if you look at the display when you use the attenuation, if I press a 10 dB, you'll see the 10 ATT, attenuation of 10 dB. If you press the 20, let's take it out, press a 20, here you have attenuation 20. And there you get a lot more. But if you press both, so I have the 20 on, I'll press the 10. Here you see 10, attenuation 20. It actually combines to make a total of 30 dB attenuation. So if you're really coping with a super strong signal that's overloading the receiver, <coughs> you can go up to 30 decibels of attenuation, which is pretty, pretty strong. Uh, if you calculate that here you've got your 20 dB mark right here on the display um, you can see that it's pretty much all of that signal here the signal string that would be gone and even a little more so um, if your receiver is insensitive don't forget that maybe you forgot attenuation on or off you gotta be careful with that uh, when I put the 10 dB attenuation sometimes it happens that I forget to actually take it off and so I start tuning around and after a while I'm, well signals are not strong you know and I notice that oh 10 dB is on 
So don't forget to actually turn off the attenuation if you need so. Uh, this is basically pretty much what you have in the attenuation on the receiver up to 30 dBs and by 10 and by increment of 10 dB. So you got 10, you got 20, and you got 30 when you combine both. Uh, on some of the frequencies that you listen to, you actually might hear a little click in the radio when you turn on the attenuation because on some on uh, some of the circuits, uh, actually attenuation is switched on by a relay. So don't be afraid. Here you can hear maybe the little click. But if I go into uh, for a 400 megahertz and do the same thing, there's no click. It's an electronic switching of the attenuation. So this is uh, the little video showing you a bit of uh, basic operations using the attenuators on your uh, ICOM ICRD500 receiver. Uh, so if you've got some uh, overloading, but most of the time you'll probably never use the attenuation of these radios. But if you do, at least uh, you know that you've got 10, you've got 20 and 30 decibels of attenuation possible. So, hope you enjoyed these videos. If you like them, click our subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online. We'll have a complete manual online for using your ICOM ICR8500 and also for the ICOM ICR20. So, instead of uh, using your uh, written manual, or maybe you lost your manual and you're you know, looking for features, well, uh, they'll all be probably here in the coming uh, weeks and months so uh, I'll try to put a, a full really detailed um, manual online with uh, little increments I don't have too much information on each videos but each videos will talk about one feature or a couple of features and I tell you how to use them so I uh, hope you enjoy if you have any comments or questions let us know and uh, 73s.